Is that a fund where we looked at everything and anything and we saw Peace Naturals is key. The largest land package of any of the licensed producers. Access to free on-site water, methane cogeneration, phase three power. So it was a huge advantage. This was the first facility to get licensed under the MMPR. It's exciting to see what we've done with this and where we've gone since. You can hear the extraction machines working away. We have extraction machines working 24-7. We can actually control them from the phone. We wanted to make sure everything was easy for, for people to join the company. So you've got Building 1, Building 2, Building 3, very creative names, Building 4. So welcome to Peace Naturals. As a licensed producer, we don't want patients to come to us for medicine because it's legal. We want them to come to us because of the quality. Quality is the number one priority. This is a proprietary strain we have called Infinity. This is a very high THC strain and that's quite popular in Germany right now. If we were to allocate all of our supply to Germany, it still wouldn't scratch the surface. But for us, it's a balance. We're a Canadian-based company, and we want to take care of Canadian demand first. And you can see this is still a few weeks you know, from maturing. The leaves haven't got to the point where you start seeing color adding in during flush. But that's the quality and the care you put in each plant to be able to have something that's differentiated. So one of the things we do at Peace Naturals is use different light spectra on, on different genetics and strain-specific rooms to get different effects and different results. And to do that, you have to switch things up a little bit. So here in this room, we have a very purple spectrum, which has a lot of blue and a lot of red, which creates a purple color. And with this purple color, we are able to capitalize the anthocyanin production in these cultivars, create a photo bleaching effect, to create a white flower, which is very unique in the cannabis space. This is building four. This is the uh, largest purpose-built indoor facility in the world. I don't know if you can even pick it up on the camera how far it spans and, and how wide it is. Just say you don't want to forget your keys uh, in the facility. It's a long walk. If you think about it, when you've got a, a, a baby plant, if you were to leave that in one room the entire time, you're getting much less efficiency than if you had that in a room specific where the plants are closer together. So we divide it and then the benches will automatically move the plants into the appropriate stage. And as they get larger, they take up more space and they move into rooms specifically designed for flower. Is it best to have uh, poly, diffused poly, glass, diffused glass? The one you're looking at now is glass. But if you walk over to this head house, you'll notice this is uh, a diffused poly. So it's a little bit different in the way that it deals with the light. It's making sure that when we move into some of the other jurisdictions or in other parts of the world, where it does make a lot of sense to do greenhouse versus indoor, you know, we already have the technology, we know exactly how our genetics perform, and we're able to roll things out seamlessly and efficiently. You're not just engaging in accumulating and uh, adopting the best practices from the horticultural and agricultural industry, we also hiring scientists, including myself, with PhDs that are able to evaluate whether best practice is applicable to our uh, growing methodology. That way we are staying always on top of the game and are able to grow the highest quality cannabis and having the greatest yields. Science! So what we are looking here in a good harvest and a good plant structure is a very tight nodal spacing to allow for big butt development. It's something that our customers really like and appreciate. You know, me, me and Mike, <laughs> we're in nice finance jobs in New York City, Manhattan. And what we've built from you know, just this barn when, when Mike first brought <laughs> me up here, it, it is absolutely incredible. We're now making you know, Stainer, Ontario, our home, and we're building an amazing team. We have over 100 employees now. We're so happy to be in Canada, and we're loving every minute. Look at alcohol. Which alcohol company is the best because they produce the most or the cheapest? It's, it's who has the best beer, who has the best wine, who has the best liquor. And that's what our focus is, is product quality. Mm -hmm.